The FBI has found one additional document with classified markings Friday during a search of former Vice President Mike Pence's home. The discovery comes a month after his lawyers found sensitive documents at the house in Indiana. Robert Costa has those developments. Local police blocked the driveway leading to the Pence family home this morning as FBI officials conducted an exhaustive five-hour search, leaving with one document with classified markings and six additional pages. Pence and his family were traveling in California. His team fully cooperated with the search, which came weeks after around 12 classified documents were found in the residence last month. The former vice president, who is considering a 2024 presidential bid, told CBS in early January he took no classified documents when leaving office. There were no classified uh, materials that, that left uh, the White House or remained in our possession. But days later, a personal aide did find documents in his home. Mistakes were made. And I take full responsibility. For Pence, it's just the latest interaction with the Justice Department. Special Counsel Jack Smith, investigating former President Trump's efforts to overturn the election, wants to hear from Pence under oath about the pressure campaign he faced from Trump. And I hope Mike is going to do the right thing. I hope so. Trump's relentless pleas for Pence to block the certification of the election and his refusal to do so spark fury among some Trump supporters on January 6th. The president's words and actions in and around January 6th were reckless. Of interest to the special counsel, sources said is Pence's reportedly intense meeting with Trump in the Oval Office on the eve of the Capitol attack when Trump was trying to cling to power. But it's unclear how exactly Pence will handle the special counsel's subpoena and whether Trump will try to block Pence's potential testimony much, by uh, citing executive privilege everybody. when it comes to private discussions. And Robert Costa is here with us now. You've got some new information, Robert, on uh, documents that were found at another Trump residence. CBS News has just learned, Catherine, that last month at Mar-a-Lago, former President Trump's Florida estate, his lawyers found a folder marked as classified, and they have turned that over to federal agents. It's yet another example of how across the board, whether it's former President Trump or former Vice President Mike Pence or President Biden, mm -hmm. the issue of classified material continues to vex many of them. So putting the politics to one side, let's just talk about the special counsel and this and this subpoena mm -hmm. of the former vice president. What's the challenge for Pence because of his presidential uh, aspirations? Well, politically, there's a, a challenge in the sense that Pence still wants to appeal to the Trump voter, the Trump voter who may be sympathetic to former President Trump and his conduct around January 6th. At the same time, as you know better than anyone, a grand jury subpoena is, is a, grand a grand jury, jury subpoena. subpoena. Yeah, and it's right. hard to mm -hmm. have a political calculation about something that's so cut and dry legally. Uh -huh. What's intriguing, legally and politically, is that top Pence aides for many years, Greg Jacob, mm -hmm. his former counsel in the VP office, Mark Short, his right. longtime chief mm -hmm. of staff, they have already cooperated mm -hmm. with the grand jury investigation. And that was really a strategy, right? Their idea was to make everyone available right up to Pence and then kind of have a wall there so that Pence would not be drawn into it. But it doesn't seem it's worked in this case. They've cooperated in part because they have also been issued subpoenas and there's only so much wiggle room mm -hmm. they felt they had based on our reporting. At the same time, it's more complicated for a former vice president when it comes to issues of executive privilege. And I'm told a couple Pence allies are just in wait and see mode to see what does Trump do? Does he start to really have a fight to block mm -hmm. potential Pence testimony? Robert Costa, thank you.